to another episode of Candice Corner. Today I am going to try making some rice water and I am going to follow the recipe up. So come along in the kitchen with me. Let's follow her recipe for this rice water and see how it works on my hair and hopefully it works as well as it did on her hair and so many others. So today we are featuring her recipe and don't forget also her link would be in the cards above the end screen and the description. Okay so let's get in the kitchen and start to put this rice water together with full instructions from all right so let's go guys all of the measurements would be in her video so what you have on your screen here is a lemon i'm going to use lemon and orange but i'm only showing you the lemon because in her video she only used the orange but i used just a little piece of lemon we have the white rice distilled water and a container for when we are finished so i'm going to wash the rice first okay so let's fill up the container with some water and let's give it a slight little wash so enjoy some music as i get this done washing the rice we're now going to fill it back and now we're going to put it into the palm of our hands and rub it together and release as much starch and all the good properties we want from the rice to make our rice water so again enjoy the music while we do this part of putting this rice water together that we just mix to a pot and we're going to place that on the stove with the orange and as I said I'm going to add some lemon she used orange I am ha I have some orange peel so I'm going to use the orange peel and then I'm going to use piece of orange I'm um, lemon skin sorry so once that has come to a boil I am going to set that aside and let it cool down Meanwhile, I am going to put my containers to boil for a little bit. So once that is sterilized and it is cooled down, I am going to add the rice water that we just made. And we're going to let set that aside for a week to a month. So I will make an updated video in a week's time. So to finish it off, I am just with the, the orange that we use and also the lemon skin that we just use to boil this. We're going to add it to this and I also sterilized the cover so everything was sterilized. <laughs> so I'm thinking to make another batch with all the same ingredients but to this batch i'm going to add some aloe vera 
So I'm going to go in my garden, pick some aloes, and we're going to add some aloes to another batch. So you'll make two batch. You're going to make one, firstly, with step-by-step -step instructions from her video. And then the other batch, I'm going to still do the same method that she did, but I'm also just going to add some aloe vera to it. So let's go into the garden and pick some aloe vera. There we go. <laughs> So for the second set, we're going to use some tamanu oil, some peppermint oil, the aloes, some orange peel and the rice. The aloe vera, I had it soaking for at least three hours in some hot water. So this is the base we're going to use to make this one. We're going to use this water. So we're going to take the water, add it to the rice that we previously used to make the rice water before. We're going to add all of the contents. As I said, all the, the, I'm using the same measurements. This water, however, would be a little more thicker because of the aloes, okay? So I am going to add all of that water. And I'm just showing you the aloe pieces. It was really thick as you saw the aloes was fresh. So I am going to do that till I have that same cloudy consistency. As you would see in the next picture, so this is what it was after about six minutes and I'm going to place that again with the lemon and the orange. Place it in a pot and let that boil. And when that has come to a boil, we're going to do the same process, let it cool down and then we are going to place it into our sterilized jar. I'm placing all of the contents again, the aloes, the lemon and the orange not going to fill it completely because I want to place all of the contents which is all of the aloes, all of the um, citrus that we use. Then I am going to, that one is the one that we did before, that's a plain one just with the orange and the lemon and in this one we're going to use the tamano oil and the peppermint oil. It's just about tamanu oil promotes hair growth and it also smells lovely. I add about a tablespoon each because I really want it to smell nice. And once that is done, I am going to use my sterilized covers and make sure I make sure don't boil them. You don't want to boil them because this isn't metal, this is plastic. So I just, you know, toss them in the hot water after washing them properly. And I'm going to seal them very tightly and I'm going to give them both a good shakety shake. <music> After shaking them up, after giving them both a good shake, shake, shakey shake, I am going to place them in a dark spot for a week and then I'm going to come back in a week time with a hair tutorial and, and how I use it, what I think of it. And as I said, don't forget to head over to her channel and show her some support and get all of the proper measurements and proper instructions on how to do this and look out for the upcoming video where i use this product <laughs> 